So I wanted to give you anything that's blocking or any barrier that the enemy has built up in your soul or that you allowed to be built up in your soul. We're not always the victim. Satan is limited to what he can do. But through our poor choices and through our compromise and through our yielding to the flesh, when we should be yielding to the, the Holy Spirit in our inner man spirit, things get built up. If we don't take care of it, it becomes a stronghold and it will hinder the work of God in your life. It will hinder you from receiving God's full, fullness in prayer and walking it out all kinds of ways. You've been wondering what's wrong, why you didn't receive the answer that you should have received because you were blocked somewhere and you're soulish, your mind. That's why the word of God tells us to renew our mind and be transformed and con conformed to the word of God. And so uh, periodically you'll have to do that. And the Holy Spirit will prompt you. For a season, I was daily because it would come up somebody that I hadn't even thought about, but I hadn't released them. I hadn't even forgiven them. And that was causing a, a blockage in my soul and a hindrance to me receiving my answered prayer. When I know I had been doing all the things that I knew to do in obedience and still not receiving. So when I began to say, why, Lord, help me see. And sometimes it was because I erred in my words, having the poor mouth, saying, I don't have this and I, I can't afford that. And the word of, that does not align with the word of God. The word of God, my birthright blessing says he is Jehovah Jireh and Jehovah Jireh richly provides for me richly. That aligns with the word of God. And so where I had been making an error, not intentionally, but just having a poor mouth, I had to start correcting that. And I had gone through many years ago, gone through a, a season of correcting that. But after my husband died, and even right before he died, I had let go of that standard. <laughs> I had let go of that standard. Truth be told, confess your faults to one another so that you can be healed. Um, so I had to take that up again, realizing that a part of my situation was I had the poor mouth. I had the poor mouth. And when you have um, gone through what I've gone through with the Holy Spirit help, the training that he gave me, it happens pretty quickly, good or bad. And so if you're saying the bad, it, it happens pretty quick, quickly. So I had to, as they say, hurry up and get that straight. <laughs> 